I'm Fabricio Medina Bolivar, and on behalf of Arkansas State University, I welcome you to the third annual conference of the American Council for Medicinally Active Plants. You are welcome. theme for this year is on plants and human health. We are proud to bring representatives from 19 countries and 22 states here to Jonesboro, Arkansas. My name is Agnes Romando with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and I am the president of this society. This is a diverse group of scientists doing plant research, not just characterizing bioactive compounds, but also trying to improve the plant. Thank you to the Arkansas Science Institute. It's a great pleasure to be your host. Thank you for inviting me. 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 We're going to have uh, Jay Harris as our outreach coordinator. I'm going to show you different areas of the building, different instrumentation and research that is going on here at the ABI. Tours are going to start about uh, five minutes, I believe. Again, we're going to have three different tours. They go through different areas of the building, and you can select all the different tours at, uh, at the random.
This particular conference is the only one of its kind that's specifically just looking at medicinally active plants. Just looking at the whole cornucopia of plants. So it's not, it's not like a lot of other conferences where it'll just be anthocyanin pigments or polyphenols. It's all the different compounds that a plant can have that have medicinal action. And it's all focused on human health. So in that way, it's quite unique. And the participation, the number of people here has grown every year. It's only the third time. But it's grown dramatically every year, and I expect it will continue to do so as the reputation uh, increases. And also, uh, the new journal that's being put out is going to really increase the reputation of this conference. I'm going to be talking about purple tomatoes, <laughs> which we made a while back, and about how we've taken those four to do studies on whether they're healthier for you, and uh, also made new compounds in tomato, and how you can use those to look at health benefits. So I'm going to convert everyone to eating tom tomato. <laughs> the first time I've been to a meeting where this type of research has been really at, at the forefront. So normally the, the, the sections of big plant meetings are, are on secondary metaboli meta metabolism and the uses they can be put for are very small and there's maybe about 10 people in the audience. So it's really great to see a lot of people working with a similar sort of uh, way of thinking uh, and it's really a new and emerging area so that's great. I think in many ways plants are really sort of at the interface where we're recognizing that we are what we eat and what we need to do is actually eat a lot more of the phytochemicals that are health promoting in vegetables and, and fruits. Um, but what's nice about this conference is it's taking that sort of um, understanding and putting it to a scientific principle. The use of medicinal uh, plants has been going on for a long time, but in many in biology, it seems that it's always in the background. There may be a session at a larger meeting, there may be talks and posters at a larger meeting, but to bring everyone that's working on it together into one uh, group so that they can talk, compare ideas, uh, work on collaborative efforts so we can move the entire field uh, forward is very, very important. And that's really a main thing that this, uh, I think that this meeting has, uh, has done. Uh, conference has been a very good opportunity to interact with people with different expertises and uh, also to exchange uh, information, scientific information with the potential to establish future uh, scientific uh, collaboration. Actually in next year and uh, I've been it's been a, a really good experience so far. <laughs> it's, it's very important to um, to, that these scientists kind come together and this was very interesting for me to see what can be done what kind of genetic manipulations and other things which we usually do with mammalian cells here is done with uh, plant cells